It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for us to get on our sewing chat. I'm Madi with Madi Sews, and welcome back, you all. So I got some really fun and exciting things to talk to you all about. I've got this wonderful plant wall behind me, and I've been experimenting with shorts, both little video shorts as well as shorts that you can wear. <laughs> so I guess let's get started with the video shorts. So some of you guys may have noticed that I've actually been putting together little like snippets that are 60 seconds or shorter of just like progress updates, compilations, things like that. Fun things that I thought that you all might like to see. And honestly, I have a really fun time making those and I do post them across my different social media platforms. So I'll post those videos over on Instagram at Marisos for Curves, as well as TikTok, which I just started and scares me just a little bit. Over here, I really try to differentiate them so that way you know what's a short and what's going to be one of the longer videos. So the shorts are generally shot in a side note, you all. You see this band-aid? It's a little like Pokemon band-aid. I'm really sorry if it's really distracting. I know I use my hands a lot. Okay, so we were talking about shorts. So video shorts are shot in portrait and not landscape like we are right now. And I actually am trying to make my thumbnails with that actual portrait in the middle. So that way you can easily identify those and know which ones are the short ones. I also try to put the little short symbol, which looks like a little, I don't know, like um, equal sign, but like at an angle. I try to make sure that that's in there and I do put it in the descriptions so that way it's easily identifiable. Now let's talk about shorts that you can wear. So I made the Silma Joggers by Sirena Patterns and I'm gonna put a picture of the pattern up here for you guys to check out but I did make two different versions. The first version I made was a shorts version. And then after I figured that I had gotten the fit done and worked out a couple of different things, I went ahead and I made the full leg, the full grown leg, covering my leg version, which I guess is called pants. <laughs> I'm actually going to be talking about it on Sunday. So I'll be sure to give you more details about that one. Can we just talk about all of this plant stuff happening behind me. You all, my plant wall is finally done. And I, you, this turned out so much better than what I could have ever hoped for. And you all, let me tell you, this project was not only fun, but it was also pretty frustrating. Um, and mostly because I couldn't get it to hang anywhere. I just, I couldn't get it to stick to anything. Let me just insert this little clip for you so that way you can see what I'm talking about. crazy? I mean, those freaking suction cups did not want to stick on anything. And, and you know, even after I had gotten this thing stuck on there and I thought it was good to go, the next morning I came in here and while I was in a Zoom meeting for work, it fell off. It just, it fell to the floor. <laughs> after it fell off during that meeting, I, I decided I was done playing games with this plant wall. 
So I took them all and I put them face down on the floor and I attached zip ties to the back of them. I made sure that each of those squares was attached to the adjacent ones. So that way, well, it would just be one big old plant rug. After I had my plant rug zip tied together, that's when I brought it back over here and I attached it to the hooks up at the top. And I use the really large suction hooks hooks that you have to like turn down so they really stick on there well. Most of them are really good. I mean, I have one bad child up in this corner over here, but for the most part, the rest are the rest are acting, they're playing well. But because I didn't want to take any chances, I grabbed those zip ties and I ran zip ties through the handles and onto like the back squares that these little plant things are attached to. So that way, even if a corner does fall off, the entire thing isn't falling off of the front of my Murphy bed here. And over here, you can see a picture of what it looks like when I'm not sitting so close in front of it. You all, I really do like this thing. And with the window open, it kind of does feel like I'm outside. You hear all those birds? <laughs> It's the little things. I really do like it. So the one thing that has been on my mind and that I qu haven't quite figured out um, is that when guests come, this Murphy bed's gonna have to come down, right? And so this is going to be facing the ground. It's gonna go whoop, facing the ground. And I'm not sure, it, I'm gonna be honest with myself and say that it's just not gonna work. It's gonna fall off and then I'm gonna be back at square one. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is when guests do come over, I'm gonna cut the zip ties um, around those handles, take my little plant rug, and I think I'm gonna hang it inside the bed as a backdrop, as a um, like kind of like backboard looking thing. So that way it can function as decoration as well. And I'm really excited about that, but I, I think I'm going to need different hooks to make it work inside there. In case you're wondering where I got this really crazy idea, I actually picked it up from a Britney Spears like documentary that they were showing. And everyone that they interviewed was sitting in front of a plant wall. They just kind of like switched out all the flowers for different people. And I thought, oh, that is so weird and so good <laughs> so i so yeah that that's where it all came and if you actually want to hear me talk a little bit more about it here and how i got the supplies and stuff check out this video over here and it walks you through it all well there's my plant wall and we spoke about two different types of shorts so catch me on sunday so that way i can tell you about my soma joggers and until then i sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day